Welcome back, Rich Minds. It's your boy, Reno, coming back to you with another video. And today's topic is going to be five reasons your silence is loud. Yes, sir. Let me say it louder for the people in the back. Listen, y'all. This video is based upon all the reasons of how you know your silence is loud. Now, understand this, y'all. This means that you can walk into any room, yes, sir, and be able to shift it or make a statement, okay? This means you can go anywhere in the world, whether you are around family, friends, a new job, new people, whoever, new environments, you're going to make a statement. Yes, sir. This means that wherever you go, your presence is felt. Now, understand this, y'all. This can work in a negative way against you in a positive way for you, right? And in this video, y'all, I'm going to get directly into those, but I just want you to understand something. Your silence is loud, and there's nothing that nobody can do about it, all right? Make sure you drop in the comments and say there's nothing they can do. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments and say there's nothing they can do. So before we get into the video, y'all, y'all already know how we do. Y'all make sure y'all leave a thumbs up on this video as well as subscribe to the channel. Yes, sir. And not only that, but make sure you drop in the comments and say there's nothing they can do. So the first reason of why your silence is loud is going to be this chosen one. It makes a statement. Yes, sir. Let me say it louder for the people in the back. Now, I know I touched on this earlier in the video, but now we can unpack it and go a little deeper into it, y'all. Understand this. You make a statement. Now, this doesn't matter if you're going to a bank. You make a statement without, without pulling your statements. All right? You make a statement without pulling your financial statement. Just you as a person, your personality, who you are as an individual, your silence is a statement, okay? Your silence is very loud and you are making a statement. Now understand this too, y'all. See, you can be silent in the argument and still make a statement. See, this work all the way around the board, y'all. This work all across the board. You can have an argument and be silent and still make a statement, okay? You can have a disagreement with somebody and still make a statement. Rena, what are you saying right now? Your silence is power. Okay, somebody drop in the comments and say silence is power. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments and say silence is power. And so as I elaborate on this, y'all want y'all to understand this. Whenever your silence is loud and you are making a statement, understand this, y'all. This means that you have confidence. Mm -hmm. This means that you know exactly who you are. This means you know exactly where you come from. This means don't nobody, don't nobody got to tell you you beautiful. Don't nobody got to tell you you handsome. Don't nobody got to tell you you him or you her. Don't nobody got to tell you that. You already know this. And so with that being said, if a person trying to manipulate you, listen, you can be silent. You don't got to, oh, what you mean by that? Can, can you help me out? Can you tell me why? You already know who you are. So your silence is loud. they like, oh, she must think she all that. No, I don't think I'm all that. I know who I am. Somebody drop in the comments and say, I know who I am. Listen, make sure you drop in the comments, chosen ones, and say, I know who I am. And so all I'm simply saying, y'all, is this right here. When you have confidence, that's going to empower you and give you the ability to move how you move. Give you that ability to move solid, right? You don't got to walk in the room and, hey, everybody, what's going on? I'm in the building. No, you don't got to do all that. Your silence alone is going to make a statement. And that's what they know. And so you need to understand this. As your silence is being loud or when your silence is loud, it's you've already spoken enough. You've already spoken enough. Somebody drop in the comments and say, I've already spoken. Okay. And so not all of that, y'all. So it give, it shows that you have confidence. It, give you in, it shows that you are independent. Okay. It shows that you are independent. How many times in life where you probably had a friend, family member, whoever it is, and they always asking for something. They need to borrow this. They need that. They want this. Can I have this? Right? Versus the person who is silent. Even if they need it, it shows that, you know what? They're willing to help themselves. So I, I, I don't mind helping them. A person won't help you if you're not willing to help yourself. You know, what are you saying right now? With you being silent, I don't know right now. Maybe you're struggling. Yes, sir. I don't know right now. Maybe, you know, you're trying to figure things out yourself. Understand this, y'all. 
With you being silent, it still shows that you are independent and your independence is going to attract help because if a person don't see you trying to help yourself, they won't even help you, okay? They won't even help you. And so, we're not, what this got to do with anything? Bottom line, y'all, it makes a statement. Listen, y'all, I had a family member in my, I had a close family member, and this is around the time when I was in college. And so, they noticed that I wouldn't ask them for anything. This wasn't me trying to act all macho, but I just never been the type of person who really asked for anything. And this made them reach out to me and say, you know what? I want to help you, man. Like, what, what, can I, what can I do for you? I know you're in college. I know you need something. You are very good of not asking for nobody help. And it wasn't me looking for attention, but this was just me finding a way on my own. Somebody drop in the comments and say, I'm going to find my own way. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments and say, I'm going to find my own way. And so what I'm saying, chosen ones, is when I was going through this journey of college, right? And as y'all know, college students can be some of the brokest people in the world. Some of the brokest people in America, right? And so I'm talking about no car, no none of that, no car, right? Got to walk with my groceries of, of two miles to my crib. Understand what I'm saying, y'all? And so in this period of time, I was showing my independence, not because I was trying to get attention, but because I was just being who I was. But guess what? I didn't have to ask a person for help. My silence attracted it. Your silence is very loud. Okay, understand that your silence is loud. And so the next thing I want to speak about is uh, certainty. Okay, I want to talk about your certainty as well. Because when you're making a statement, all right, when you make a statement, that also shows that you are certain of who you are. I'm certain of my mindset. I'm certain I don't need you. I am certain that God made me who I am. I am certain. So you got that confidence you're on top of independence and you certain of who you are. Oh, yeah, you making a big statement. Oh, they hear it. They hear it. Now, here's the thing, y'all. Some people are thinking to themselves, they think they all that, they got all, they feel like they got this and got that, they got money, they got a car. You know, if you ain't, listen, y'all, you ain't doing something right if you ain't got no haters, okay? I'm gonna say that one more time, y'all. You ain't doing something right if you ain't got no haters. You gotta understand that, chosen ones. And so, as you realize this, y'all, I wanna make sure you understand it. Your silence is loud. And the first reason of how you know that is you make a statement. Okay, that silence makes a statement. And so you just got to understand that, y'all. So if that first reason resonated with you, make sure you drop in the comments and let me know, y'all. So the second reason of how you know your silence is loud, it's going to be the chosen ones. You have no point to prove. Okay, let me say it louder for the people in the back. You have no point to prove. So, Reno, what do you mean by that? Understand this, chosen ones. The only point you got to prove it's the point that you're proving to God. Yes, sir. The only point you got to prove is the point that you're proving to God. All right? When it comes to any other human beings and whoever else, you know, trying to get you to prove something to them or trying to get you to uh, beg for their approval, oh, that's irrelevant. All right? Somebody drop in the comments and say it's irrelevant. All right? So understand this, y'all. The only point that you have to prove is the point that you're proving to God. And so realize this. What's understood does not have to be explained. Right? What's understood does not have to be explained. What is there to prove? I don't, I don't have anything to prove to you. You don't, And quiet is kept, y'all. They don't have anything to prove to you. But the problem is that's what they make it. They make it a game of, oh, you got to prove to me that you got this. You got to prove to me that you are this. You got to prove to me that you this. No, I don't have to prove anything, y'all. I don't have to prove anything, okay? And if you are in a relationship, a marriage, or a friendship, or whatever it is, yes, you have to prove, you know, loyalty and trust. But outside of that, y'all, you don't have anything else to prove. And even when you're proving that, even when you're proving that, at this point, it's a two-way street. It's a two-way street because at the end of the day, y'all, we are both human and we don't know a stranger from a can of paint. And a stranger don't know what's from a can of paint. So at the end of the day, yes, you are proven loyalty and trust. But outside of that, especially to those to whom you know or to whom knows you, you are making your own way just like they're making their own way. And you don't have anything to prove to nobody else. You just got to do what you got to do for yourself. And as simple as that, chosen ones. And if that makes sense, y'all, y'all make sure y'all drop in the comments and say it made sense. 
Yes, sir. If that makes sense, y'all, make sure you drop in the comments and let me know if it makes sense, y'all. You don't have no point to prove to nobody, right? Y'all seen the movie uh, Malibu's Most Wanted? This movie came back out like early 2000s with the white guy, B-Rag or something like that. B-Rag, I, I forgot his name, P-Rabbit, something like that, y'all. And he was, you know, the one who had got on the car, you know, shoot, busting his guns. Well, the thing is, y'all, his silence could have been much louder. But what he did was he made himself loud and it caused those around him to be silent. Now, at some point, okay, at some point, they did begin to buy in. But this was a movie. But here's the, here's the case of point, y'all. It was a point for him. He made it his business to prove a point. To the people that was around him, to be like, hey, I'm a gangster. I'm a gangster. I, I, this is what I do, y'all. I'm a gangster. Okay? If you're a gangster, then you're just going to be a gangster in silence. And guess what, y'all? It says real G's move in silence like lasagna, right? And so if you are proven to be this and proven to be that, why do you got to, why do you got to, you know, prove a point to people to say, hey, this is who I am. This is what I do. You shouldn't have to prove no point. You should just act like that, right? And so, no, I'm not telling people to be a gangster, but what I am saying is if you are what you if you are who you say you are, then act this that. And matter of fact, if you shouldn't be acting, it should be a lifestyle. Right? If you serve God, it should be a lifestyle. If you serve the devil, it should be the lifestyle. Whatever you do, y'all, whatever you do, it should be a lifestyle, okay? That's all I'm saying. And so with that being said, y'all, in that particular movie, he was trying he was trying so hard to prove a point. Right? He was trying so hard to prove a point and it almost worked for him. But they realized exactly who he was and he had to come clean about who he was. Okay? And so understand that, y'all. You don't have no point to prove. And with that being said, that makes your silence so much louder. Okay? Uh, if that resonated, y'all, y'all make sure y'all drop in the comments and say it resonated. Okay? And so we're going to get to the third one, y'all. The third reason of why your silence is loud. It's going to be the chosen ones. It forces them to guess. Yes, sir. We're going to say that one louder for the people in the back. Listen, y'all. It forces them to guess. Okay, so Reno, what do you mean by that? Understand this, y'all. It makes them guess about how you feel about them. It makes you guess uh, what makes them guess about your emotions, makes them guess about your mindset. It just makes them guess in all aspects. All right? Why are you doing this? Why is she doing that? Right? Why she go pink today? It just makes them guess. You, you're not giving the person the time of day uh, to explain anything. You don't have to explain nothing as a grown man and as a grown woman. What is that to explain? What is that to explain? And so as you understand this, y'all, listen, when you force a person to guess, they cannot stand that. Us as human beings, we want to know exactly what's going on. We want to know at all costs. We want to know at all times what's going on. We can't stand being left in the blind. But guess what? That's what you're doing by not telling them your business, by not feeling like you got a point to prove, right? By you being silent. See, your silence is very loud. And I want you to understand that, y'all. Now, let me also let me also get on this aspect of things, okay? Let's just say you are in a relationship, or any type of, uh, you know, whatever, any type of shit, right? Let's just say you win that. And y'all have some type of, you know, argument or disagreement or whatever like that. And they're trying to argue with you. You're like, man, look, I'm not trying to, I, I ain't, I'm not trying to go there with you. And they still going on and on and on and on. But guess what? Whenever you become silent, at some point, y'all, it's going to get real loud. And you don't got to say a word. See, a fool can't argue by themselves. Yes, sir. A fool can't argue by themselves. And so whenever you, you know, you step back and you you hop out that ring of fire and you say, you know what? I'm going to let you go at it. At some point, you're going to get tired. You're going to get tired of punching the ass at some point. You're going to get tired of fighting by yourself. That's how you got to look at every situation in life. Okay? You got to look at every situation like that, y'all. Understand this. It's going to force them to guess. In that, in that situation, they don't know if you're mad. They don't know if you're sad. They literally have to go off of your body language at this point. They got to go off your facial expression. And if you're not even giving nothing with that, you got your poker face on, that's still going to force them to guess even more. Period. And so you have to understand that, y'all. It's going to force them to guess how you feel, where you stand with them. Uh, it's going to force them to guess, period. 
Your silence is loud. If a person do you wrong, sometimes you don't have to go out here and, you know, put them on blast about how they did you and how you finna go out here and get some get back. And they did this to me and they did that to me. And I'm about to go out here and I'm finna blast them. You don't gotta do all that. Just be silent. The guilt is gonna eat them up. Yes, sir. Somebody drop in the comments and say guilt will eat you up. Okay? Guilt will eat a person alive. Y'all better believe and understand that. Us as human beings, unless you just have a straight up empty heart, listen, God did not design us that way. He didn't design us that way. Now, some people, they train their heart and they train their minds to be like that. So it is possible for people to be empty. Period. However, everybody is not built like that. And some people actually have a heart. But the problem is, y'all, that guilt is going to eat them up because their heart allows them to feel. Okay? You will know when guilt start eating a person up because they may reach out to you. They may reach out to you. They may try to, you know, make a little small talk, make a little small conversation because it's that guilt eating them up. You ain't saying nothing about it. You ain't saying nothing about it. I had a guy to cut my hair, y'all, right? And I'm going to give y'all a small, small story on this. But I had a guy to cut my hair. We was, you know, I wouldn't say he was my best friend, uh, my best friend, but... Uh, an associate, right? And it should be a line of respect there. Long story short, uh, we were supposed to do some content together, and in exchange, it was a free haircut, right? So I didn't, I never did make this a thing. I didn't say, "Oh man, let's do content. We're gonna make it a free cut." No, he said, "Look, bro, I like what you stand for. I like what you do. Listen, we we gonna collab and do some free content, right? Together, collab on some content, and then I give you a free cut." I said, all right, bet, cool, I'm with that. It came, you know, upon the time. I called just to confirm with him. Got over to his crib. Uh, we was supposed to do it. He was acting like he didn't want to do the content. So I'm like, okay, like, we want to do the content or not? He was like, all right, cool, let's do the content. So just when we was about to walk outside, he was like, oh, man, man, it's hot outside, man. You know, I, I ain't even got my tripod. It was just excuse after excuse, right? So he was, so I was just like, so it's going to be regular price? He was like, yeah, man, regular price, right? You know, I said, you know what? I'm going to go ahead. I got way over here anyway. I'm going to go ahead and pay him his money. But after that, I just never go to him again. It's all good. This guy reached back out to me maybe like a week or two after. Hey, man, you ready to do content? Here's the thing. It was guilt eating him up. Now, I'm cool on doing the content with him. I like people who are men of their word, right? Women of their word. Those are the only type of people I can connect with, y'all. The message I get from that, y'all, is this right here. Um, he said he was going to do something. He didn't do it. I, I held my silence. Didn't even call him out on it. Held my silence. I paid for it. Paid for my service. And allowed guilt to eat him up. And so he gave. Now he's trying to reach out give these little small conversations. Man, it's cool, bro. You've been exposed. It's cool, bro. Somebody drop in the comments and say you've been exposed. It's cool, bro. I'm, I'm cool on you, right? And, and, and so with that being said, y'all, it's going to be people in your life. But once again, once again, you're forcing them to guess. They don't know. Allow guilt to eat them up, all right? And so with that being said, y'all, we're going to move to the next one. The fourth reason of why your silence is loud is going to be this chosen one. It creates mystery. Very similar to the last one, y'all. But once again, it creates mystery, all right? They don't know how to come at you. They don't know how to maneuver around you. They don't know what to do. So all they have to do is, all they're left to do is, is to make an assumption on how to come at you, right? And so you always want to keep a mysterious vibe about yourself. You always want to be a, a mysterious type of person. So you don't give people everything, right? Like you, you don't want to give a person every single thing about yourself. You want to leave some for you, okay? And so with that being said, y'all, that's another form of your silence being loud. Man, every time you walk in, man, they just come in and do their job and go home. Man, every time they go to school, man, they just come in and do their work. Man, uh, why can't we get, I, I want to know, I want to know what they do after work. I want to know what he do after school, right? So this is the type of mystery that you are cooking up for people and you are allowing people to make their own judgment on you, right? And you're not wrong or right for it. You're just living your life. Somebody drop in the comments and say, I'm living my life. You want to create 
mystery. They don't know how to come at you. And see, whenever your opponent don't know how to come at you or your enemy doesn't know how to come at you, it forces them to make an assumption. And nine times out of ten, it's going to be the wrong one. Yes, sir. It's going to be the wrong assumption, okay? And so they're going to have to choose wisely, right? Your silence is loud. You got to realize how loud silence is. A lot of people think that you got to walk in every room almost screaming and yelling. It's not about how loud you can scream or yell. Honestly, it's about how well you can compose yourself and be calm. And guess what? If you're able to do that and you still have that it factor about yourself, you're going to be able to shift and shake any room. Okay? You will be able to shift and shake any room. Somebody drop in the comments and say, I can shift any room. You will be able to shift and shake any room that you walk in without having to be loud, talking loud, screaming, and seeking attention. T attention will seek you. Let's just make that clear. Attention will seek you. And that's just the laws of the land, y'all. So I want y'all to realize that um, your silence being loud, that's a clear indication that you are creating mystery with the way you move, maybe with the way you talk, the way you react to things, the way you respond to things. It's all these smaller things. You're not giving them everything, right? You keep your business to yourself. You ain't not here, you know, explaining everything. You are moving and living your life for use and solely upon you. Okay, I'm not saying you just a mute and you by yourself and you don't talk to nobody. I'm saying when it comes to those who you don't really necessarily know like that or those, you know, people, it can be close people too, who just come into your life and they just trying to be nosy, trying to figure out how you move, where you move, what time you, right? All this, understand this, y'all, you are creating mystery and that's a powerful thing. Your silence creates noise. Your silence is loud. And never undermine that, okay? And so the last one, y'all, is going to be number five. The fifth reason of why your silence is loud is going to be this chosen one. You leave them no choice but to respect you. Yes, sir. Let me say that one louder for the people in the back. Listen, y'all, you leave them no choice but to respect you. So, Rena, what do you mean by that? You don't give them anything to talk about. Okay, you stay out of the way and you mind your business. So guess what? How can you talk about a person like that? Although they still are, let me make that clear. Although they're still gonna talk about you, but how can you say how can you say so much about a person like that? How can you slander a person like that? How can you lie on a person like that? Right? Guilt gonna eat them up anyway because they doing a wrong action. Period. So understand and realize that, y'all. You leave them no choice but to respect you. You stay out of the way. You mind your business, okay? You get your money. You go to work. You go home. You work on your business. I mean, whatever you are doing, but you stay out of the way, all right? And the more you stay out of the way, the more you keep doing your own thing, the more you keep, you know, doing whatever it is that makes you happy or whatever the case is, guess what? They gonna have, They got no choice but to stand back. Listen, there's no choice but to respect you. That's the power of silence, y'all. That's the power of silence, y'all. Sometimes, like, it's almost like that new guy who come to the school. And he don't say nothing to nobody. He mind his business, but you could tell that, you know, he stand on business and he stand on respect. Well, guess what? He's going to attract, the, he's going to attract respect. And that's the same thing with you. You're going to attract respect. You're going to attract those who respect how you move, respect your actions. You are always going to have haters, y'all. And like I said earlier in the video, if you're not, if you don't have no haters, then obviously you're doing something wrong. But guess what? If you're watching this video, you're doing something right. Because you got some haters, clearly. Understand this, y'all. Your silence is loud and it's power. Okay? I need everybody to drop in the comments and say silence is power. Yes, sir. So I can't conclude this video out no better than this, y'all. Y'all make sure y'all check out any one of the links in my description. Check out any one of my books. That's Eight Steps to Self-Publishing, A Successful Book, Rich Mentality, Traumatized by Love, as well as Fairly Unequal. Also, make sure you check out any one of my memberships. That's my YouTube membership, as well as my Patreon. I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Keep a rich mentality. Peace.